Um, how many of you know the difference between payment and settlement? Not too many? So I, oh, a couple. All right, so let me just, just give you just a high level on this. I go to a, a restaurant and I pay with my Visa card and they let me go and they don't call the police saying that I left without paying for my food. That's a payment. But I still have to pay my credit card bill and somebody still has to wire money to the restaurant, right, or ACH or whatever payment system they use. It has, the payment has not been settled. Traditionally, payment and settlement have been completely bifurcated into completely separate systems. SWIFT is a payment system that doesn't do anything with settlement. And the problem with that is it makes it hard to do a good payment because, like, you don't know if the recipient, you, you can't check the validity of the recipient. You don't know necessarily what the fees are going to be, what the exchange rate is going to be when the payment settles. So we built a system that, and the only reason they've been separated in institutional payments is historic. These systems date back from the old days when people had giant wheels of magnetic tape, and the tape was like on the bank's transaction computer during the day, and someone would physically carry it over to the settlement computer that talked to the other banks at night. And there was no way to settle during the day because the tape had to be on the computer that was handling the bank's transactions. It had to go to the settlement computer when it was done. Um, I'm not joking. I'm serious. If, you, if you, you look at your glitzy like front end application for your bank, and it's all really cool, and you can access it on your phone, and it's all really, you know... It's, it's 21st century, but you scratch just a couple of layers below the surface, and it's like you took a time machine. If you're lucky, you're in the, the mid, seven, mid to late 70s. Like, that's when these systems that plumb the movement of money were built, and they are breaking down. Make, make no Even if blockchain completely fails, even if all cryptocurrencies are a bust, the payment world is going to change because it's just it's, it's terrible. Solo Scrooge, sending peace and blessings to you all out there. Hashtag Solo Nation. How's it going my people, hope everyone's well. Hit the subscribe button for me my people, we're giving you updates on Sologenic, XRP, Corium. Hit the like button, that helps us push the channel through the analytics and helps the channel grow. So that was an old clip from David Schwartz. A shout out Cryptic Poet. Um, how many of you know the difference between... He says, how many of you know the difference between payment and settlement? David Schwartz, CTO at Ripple. So David Schwartz running through the difference between payment and settlement, which is good to know. So Volante enables XRP integration on its platform as Ripple partnership expands. Let's run over this article quickly, my people. So Volante... A Ripple partner allows customers to utilize XRP on its platform, leveraging the connectivity to Ripple's network. The integration of XRP provides Volante's customers with access to Ripple's digital asset and its benefits for fast and cost-effective transactions. Volante's selection as a service provider for US Fedwire in the cloud further strengthens its position in providing secure and efficient financial services. Volante a trusted partner of Ripple and leading provider of financial technology solutions has announced the integration of XRP on its platform, expanding the range of services available to its customers. With this, integ with this integration, Volante's customers now have the opportunity to utilize XRP for their transactions. So read that again. With this integration, Volante's customers now have the opportunity to utilize XRP for their transactions, taking advantage of speed, efficiency, and cost effectiveness offered by Ripple's digital asset. So look, Ripple Partner and FedNow service provider Volante says that customers can use XRP on its platform since it's connected to Ripple plus Volante selected for US Fed wire service provider in the cloud. Very important, my people. This partnership between Volante and Ripple has proven to be mutually beneficial as Volante continues to enhance its capabilities by leveraging Ripple's extensive network and technology solutions. By connecting to Ripple, Volante strengthens its position in providing innovative and streamlined financial services to its customers. In addition to the XRP integration, Volante has achieved another significant milestone by, by being selected as a service provider for the US Fed in the cloud. So quickly, for those that don't know, the Fed now and the, and the Fedwire. Look, so Fedwire is an electronic funds transfer system operated by the 12 US Federal Reserve Banks. 
So that's important to know. That's very important to know. Um, so, yeah, so, you know, it's Milestone being selected as a service provider for the US Fed wire in the cloud. This recognition further reinforces Volante's position as trusted and reliable prof provider of financial services offering secure and efficient solutions to its customers. The ability to use XRP on Volante's platform opens up new opportunities for customers to leverage the benefits of Ripple's digital asset. XRP's fast settlement times, low transaction fees and global reach make it ideal an ideal choice for cross-border payments and other financial transactions. Volante inter integration of XRP enables customers to access these advantages seamlessly within their existing workflows. Furthermore, Volante selection as a, use, as a service provider for US Fed wire in the cloud demonstrates the company's commitment to delivering secure and resilient financial services. The cloud-based infrastructure enhances Volante's capabilities in providing real-time high volume payment processing, enabling efficient and reliable transactions for its customers. How many times are they going to say that? But it's very important. They have to, you know, it's very important. With the integration, with the integration of XRP, and Volante's new role as a service provider for US Fedwire in the cloud, the company strengthens its positions, position as a leading player in the financial technology space. The expanded offerings and partnerships reflect Volante's dedication to delivering innovative solutions that meet the, involving, the evolving needs of its customers in the rapidly changing financial landscape. In conclusion, Volante's integration of XRP on its platform signifies a significant step in its partnership with Ripple, providing customers with access to Ripple's digital asset for seamless and efficient transaction. Additionally, Volante's selection as a service provider for US Fed wire in the cloud further enhances its position as a trusted provider of secure and resilient financial services so it's very important article my people so basically volante is in partnership with ripple and volante's customers can utilize xrp and who is the customer one of the customers of volante is the u.s fed wire the u.s fed wire the u.s federal reserve so when they say banks won't interact with xrp directly or indirectly in my opinion they will interact so moving on elon musk look elon musk tweeted to address extreme levels of data scraping and system manipulation we've applied the follow the following temporary limits verified accounts are limited to reading 6,000 posts a day. I don't know who reads 6,000 posts a day, but unverified accounts to 600 posts a day, new unverified accounts to 300 posts a day. Maybe he's trying to filter out some bots or something, you know, so he's trying to filter out something, he's trying to do something. So that's Elon. So Cointelegraph headlines, Bitcoin price has never lost more than 10% in July. It's 2023 different. Well, if it's not, if it's, if in the history of Bitcoin, if it hasn't lost 20, I haven't, if it hasn't lost 10% or more than 10% in July, I don't, I, I don't see why 2023, why this is the year that it would be different. Although, there is a crisis going on in the world, but the odds say probably not. It probably won't lose more than 10% if it has never lost it before. So Sologenic, we've got the Sologenic chart quickly. Let's have a look at this Solo chart. So what we have here, Sologenic currently sitting at 10 cents at the point one zero six five seven and this looks like a falling wedge is it a falling wedge 
Looks like it. it might not be. We have to see. But falling wedges tend to, if they break out, they tend to break out to the upside to where the wedge started, basically. So if this was to break out, I'm not saying it is going to break out. But if it was, could we see something? We'll say it started from around here. Look. If it was to break out, could we see something up to there? Maybe back to this blue line up here. It's possible. Meets up there. It's possible, but we've still got a bear flag that I believe is playing out. So, are we still falling? Could we still fall? It's all possible. If we look at the RSI on the daily... The RSI has come up to the 50 line. So we have to see can the RSI break above this 50 line to push to the 70 and beyond. Or are we going to get rejected here? If we get rejected here, could be an extension to the downside. If we break over, we could have a push to the upside to see if we can break out of this short-term resistance that we have there. RSI on the daily direction is going to the upside so can we get to the zero line to the zero line here and break over it we have to see Let's take a look at the weekly quickly the weekly RSI looks like it's found some support and is curving around to the upside but how far can we go have a look at the MACD, the MACD on the weekly, changing direction as well, see how far it can push, can we push and cross this green line here, we have to see, but either way my people, either way, whether the price goes up or down, for me, as it says on my chart, in this box here, you're blessed for this opportunity. Buy now, not financial advice. This is something I put for myself to tell myself when it gets here for me to buy now, not financial advice. So if it goes lower, if it goes higher, I just know that this is buy now. Look, we're, we're in this box, buy now. So not financial advice so we got crypto bubbles pepe up 16% graph up 28% flow up 14% some things are up some things are down phantom down 8% casper down 7% the crypto bubbles got matic So crypto bubbles, see how the crypto scene plays out this week. See how it plays out for these, for these digital assets. And then liquidation heat map, total liquidations. Last 24 hours, 65.4 million wrecked. 25.72 million of those that went long. And 39.71 of those that went short. So my people, I appreciate you all for the love and support of the channel. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'm Solo Screwed with the Solo News. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.